So now we're going to have a very quick look at how to do punch and roll in Audacity. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is have a look at the pre-roll and make sure that that's the correct length. So we go into the preferences menu and we open up the recording tab. Down towards the bottom here we'll see the pre-roll is currently set to three seconds. We can set that to whatever we like, but three seconds is, is good for me. So that's fine. And now we can just crack on with some recording. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of R for recording. Here I am doing a demonstration of punch and roll. And oh no, something's gone wrong. So all I'm going to do now is again put my playhead back to where I want the recording to start. Uh, and then if we have a look in the transport menu from the top there under the recording options, here we have record and we've got that keyboard shortcut of R there. Punch and roll is sitting here uh, ready to go uh, with the keyboard shortcut of shift and D. So I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut in order to just speed up that workflow and make sure that the punch and roll is as, as quick and efficient as possible. Here I am doing a demonstration of punch and roll and everything is going perfectly. And let's just listen back to that. Here I am doing a demonstration of punch and roll and everything is going perfectly. It's that simple.